I have killed many men and watched the blood drain from their eyes. It means nothing to me but sweet victory. Oh, it's so cute! Continuing after Wave 2 from the Last Night Toy Line, Wave 3 brings more collective characters from the past films and the movie edition but isn't the new film toys called studio series i'm guessing either movie edition was the original name for studio series and they didn't change it in time or studio series is a cross collector line with takara tomi excluding tiny turbos as the logo seems to be absent here or who cares slug started in age of extinction as part of the dinobot crew led by grimlock he was also in the last night you might remember him for appearing slug transforms into a robot triceratops and uh, uh, I do. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of green. Hope he's feeling well. Man, Slug has seen so many different colors. It's like picking out new paint for the walls. Should I go with Decepticon purple, golden blue, or earth gray and metallic green? Someone needs a sandwich, because he's pretty skinny looking. I get these things are little desk toys, almost fidgety figures, but with a head that wide, you could probably use it to link brain damage to head injuries. He's usually looking down, but if you set him up, that's a good dino. Also, if you open up his face, alien face hugger. The good news is, if you need a reason to buy it and add it to your collection, remember the mini Dinobots from the fifth film? Yeah, me neither. If you have something to fit, you can add weapons to the legs. It's a bit distracting and the legs are pretty spread out, but I'm pretty sure you can have fun with it. There's little tabs on the legs that goes into the body. I don't know if it needs it. Good for you. Sure, he's pretty alright in dino mode. Simple, but doesn't do anything wrong. And how can you say no to that face? With that, robot mode. robot mode is oh no what happened to your legs are you okay do you need some water i think they wanted to cheat and make those spiked feet but i mean that just looks like someone took a bat to his knee and he was like it's whatever with the adorable round smooth face and the arms that can't go straight down he just looks like some anime mascot and with the dino heads on the side it makes you confused i don't know whose eyes i'm supposed to look at and i don't want to be rude did someone say articulation ball jointed head ball joint hips that's it the tab that holds the tails in alt mode fits into the little gap so it gets out of the way it restricts leg movement but there's only so much you can do either way this could be just mine but the hips are a little uneven he's constantly leaning to the side and the broken legs aren't helping but give him credit we can't all be the adorable Genji from Overwatch or Meta Knight's American cousin. You can add certain weapons to it, including from Creo and Cyberverse. Paint is so bare that he's looking a little naked. Slug, think of the children! This is made using no screws and a pretty soft plastic, so I'm not too concerned about it breaking. You know, not old Mega Bloks. Slug is a radical bro, simple but very eye-catching. Can't say he's great to look at. I mean, the legs make me want vomit, that can't be good. And the dino heads stick out pretty far. If you're into it, I'd say there's nothing to hurt here. Safe, cute, and I probably got the wrong toy because I think this is a Clash of Clans character. 